Okay, but like before we start the video, can we just appreciate how cute this organizer tray is from Michael's? I just got it like over the weekend, I think. Michael's was having a sale plus they had a 20% off coupon and a $5 off coupon for the, I guess for the new year, um, for all the Michael's reward members. And I got this organizer tray and then I also got this, um, it's like a, what is it called? I don't read French. <laughs> I got a cart hanger for all my washi tapes and this is called the Lexington three tier rolling cart. And this is my personal washi tape and it just, it all fits, which I'm really, really happy about. And I have two extra um, racks that I can hang stuff on. So I'm so happy with being able to put some of my like packing materials here, envelopes and tissue papers, my twine, like I have my pens and my planner. I put everything that I quick, like I need to quickly reach up here so these are pads and then some like sticky notes notepads and then these are my business cards some mail and yeah i could still fit some more stuff in it and i'm still moving stuff around but i'm super happy with it you guys should get it if it's still on sale it's i think 24.99 yeah it's a great deal hey guys welcome back to my channel as you may have read from the title, the topic for today is making your own tote bags on a budget. If you're like me and you kind of want to branch out from like paper goods, sticker making and stuff like that, those are all great and everything. But of course, like one day you might want to expand and there's nothing wrong with that. But maybe you're like me and you don't have much money to spend on buying like 100 tote bags or 200 tote bags from a manufacturer and getting just one design on it. Also, as you might be able to tell from the video already, I'm not screen printing my tote bags or using a heat press because those are a little too pricey for me at the moment. Um, both screen printing kits and heat press machines and fabric vinyl can run you like $150, $200 or even more depending on the machine that you use. So this is what this video is about. It may be really obvious, but I'm here to share with you guys what I did in making my first few tote bags. So a quick disclaimer about this route. It's definitely a lot more time consuming than if you went to a manufacturer with a design and they did it for you or even using the screen printing kit or the heat press. I decided that I wanted to go this route because I have been waiting for so long to make stuff outside of like the sticker or paper goods realm and I just decided that it was time for me to make stuff. Um, and I'm just really glad that it came out really cute though. Um, so I would say it's worth it. So the tools that you're going to need are obviously a canvas tote bag or a couple canvas tote bags. I got mine from Michaels. I think it was their maker brand and it came in a pack of three. Um, I bought it for maybe between five to eight bucks. Um, if I recall correctly, you're also going to need either fabric paint or fabric marker. That's up to you. I bought both because I wasn't sure which one I would prefer using. Um, and obviously if you're going to go with fabric paint, you're going to need a paintbrush as well. So the steps that I took from start to finish um, were to first sketch it out on my tablet. I didn't want to waste time sketching it out on the tote bag and then erasing and then doing that over and over again. Um, I wanted to make sure that I had a clear vision on my tablet already and then when I was satisfied with the layout I would transfer it over. Um, I didn't use a tracing paper or anything like that but you totally could if you wanted to. Um, just trace it over like the tablet or something and then trace it over the tote bag but I just stared at my design and then I transferred it over um, just drawing it out on the tote bag and then once I was done and I was happy with the layout of it I would either take my marker um, or my paint 
and then I would go over it. For the fabric marker, I would say it took me about like three runs or three tries, like going over everything for it to be, to get as dark as I wanted it to be. Some pros of using a fabric marker are that the line width will stay more consistent than using a paintbrush because you can press harder and it's not like a paintbrush that can vary widely. Um, and also, if you like that crayony look, then using a marker is perfect because as you can see from the video, it definitely has a much more textured look because it's not as opaque. Um, but at the same time, that could be a con as well if you like that opaque, crisp line look. Um, and another pro is that you can erase small mistakes away. You can literally take an eraser and kind of rub the small parts where you made a mistake and some fibers will um, get out and that might not be a good thing in the long run but if you just have a few mistakes then you can get away with that. Some cons of using the marker it's not as opaque as paint like I said before, but that's a subjective thing. If you like the textured look, then obviously it's not a con. Um, does it hold up as well as fabric paint? I'm not really sure because I've not washed my tote bag or anything like that or got it wet at all. So I can't really attest to how well the marker is going to be um, or the tote bag is gonna be when wet. But this is what my first tote bag looks like using the fabric marker. I'm really proud of it and I think it looks great. Um, and in a little bit, I'll show you what it looks like if I use fabric marker on 100% polyurethane canvas bag. Actually, it's not even canvas, sorry. It's polyurethane. Um, I got this from totebagfactory.com. Um, that was another thing that I discovered after going to Michael's. Um, they do have like a low price per quantity and you're not obligated to buy like 50 or 100 of one thing. You can buy as little as one tote bag. So that was really nice. Um, I just bought this one by accident thinking it was like the canvas tote bag that I got like I did at Michael's um, but it definitely has like a lighter more transparent look to it I'm not sure if this appeals to anyone here's a bit of a close-up of the texture but it's a lot smoother to draw on so that is one thing that I did like but here's a demo of what it looks like with my hand in the bag and then putting something like a blue envelope inside. It's very, very see-through, but it could work as a more budget-friendly um, tote bag option for your store. Again, with this tote bag, it took me about two or three runs um, in order to get it to be as dark as I wanted it. Um, but I would say this was much easier to draw on again um, as opposed to the canvas tote bag so I was able to finish faster. Now moving on to the second canvas tote bag that I got from Michaels. Um, this is a different design that I drew on it and this time I'm using fabric paint. I think this was also like the Maker brand from Michaels, it was just fabric paint. For the beginning, I was using like kind of like a medium sized round brush. Um, I don't know like the number size to it, so sorry that I can't help you there, but um, I switched pretty much like quickly after this little round here uh, of tracing because I realized that uh, the bigger the brush, that I used, the harder it was for me to control the the pressure and I just felt like I constantly needed so much paint as well. That was one con of using fabric paint. I found it a little harder to control the paint with the brush um, just because you can go really light or you can go pretty hard on it. Um, although obviously the harder you go, the more the brush will fray. So the lines can look uneven a lot more than using a marker. Um, another con for me personally was that I felt 
it was slower for me to start. Um, it just feels like a more permanent thing for me as opposed to marker. So I'm, I was more hesitant in getting started with painting, but in the end, it looked really great. And I actually do prefer the crisper, is that a word? The crisper lines, the more opaque lines and the color as opposed to the marker. So I will be making a lot more tote bags with the fabric paint in the future. But this was the result of my second tote bag. I'd love to hear your thoughts on which one you'd prefer, marker or paint. But anyway, that's all for this video. I hope you found this helpful and enjoyed watching me draw and stuff. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!